KSI and Deji got a little bit of family drama going on right now, but hang on to your seats because it's about to get a little bit controversial up in here. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. And part of that is dealing with family drama. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So real quick before I get started, I am currently working on an anger management book called Rewire Your Anger. And this is important if any of you have major anger triggers that have to do with your family. But anyways, follow me on Twitter. I just gave away 10 free copies of this book on Twitter yesterday because I asked a question for some feedback for my book and everybody whose uh, tweet that I used or they DM'd me too, um, I'm giving them a free copy of the book when it comes out in a few days. So follow me on Twitter at The Rewired Soul so you don't miss any of that stuff, all right? So yeah, those of you who don't know what's going on, KSI and Deji are very large creators here on the platform and they've been beefing a little bit, having a little bit of drama, creating diss tracks left and right. And let me tell you this right now, for those of you who don't know know me or my preferences and YouTubers. The only reason, the only reason I know about what's going on is because of other YouTube channels. I don't subscribe to Deji or KSI, but I, <laughs> this is actually funny, like I do not watch reaction channels. Like why am I going to watch somebody else react to something? Like why don't I just watch it and react to myself? But I recently came across this channel, This Offends Me TV. Um, it's this dude, Todd, and me and him talk on Twitter too now. And the dude is absolutely hilarious. And he's been like reacting to all the back and forth diss tracks with KSI and Deji and Dax and Crypt. And like, I, I commented on one of his videos the other day. I'm like, dude, I can watch you react to a phone book. What the f Bro, this dude, yo, KSI, bro. What have you done? What have you done, JJ, man? I don't even like you but i'm trying to help you right now you need to apologize to everyone you've done piss the fuck off my guy like he just cracks me up so if you if you're not into reactions like me but you just want to like watch a funny dude like cool guy react to stuff like go check out his channel but anyways anyways there's a lot of speculation about is this drama between ksi and deji fake so basically what what happened was you know there were some you know diss tracks between like deji and randolph and uh, from what I understand, Deji used some kind of like bank statement from like uh, KSI in a video. KSI got upset because he figures that his parents gave Deji access to his bank account to use in his video. Now there's some more personal stuff coming out in these diss tracks about like relationships and like baby mama drama and stuff. But those of you who are new to my channel, I ain't a drama channel. <laughs> like I am just like kind of giving you a recap of what's going on. But anyways, uh, KSI then said that he's like, done with this he's done he's not talking to deji he's not talking to his parents um he's done with that stuff right and is it fake if you want my honest opinion i think so but anyway stay stay for the rest of the video stay for the rest of the video because i'm going to teach you how to deal with toxic family members okay <laughs> but yeah it it all seems fake it seems like bs to me um deji was just on logan paul's podcast i think because i was researching this video it like recommended me logan paul's podcast or it's or it's todd's fault from this offends me tv maybe it's his fault because i watch his videos and now youtube's recommending that but anyways like yeah deji was on the podcast and he talked a lot about this beef with um ksi but yeah like they're like reacting to reactions of reactions and reacting to that and that and that and that and it's just like whatever you do you whatever you got to do to make the algorithm love you do your thing boo but anyways like this is this is a real topic like and what I meant in the intro about this is kind of controversial is I've never talked about this on my channel and like I, I have some views and like real quick disclaimer these are my views these are my opinions um I do videos on like neuroscience and like evidence-based therapies and stuff like that like these are my personal views and opinions take them with a grain of salt for some of you, this might be the best course of action. For others of you, it might not. But I am not telling you to do what works for me, all right? But I want you to take it into consideration, okay? Okay. So anyways, I was actually inspired by my friend Kalela to make this video 
because she has a channel called Post Traumatic Victory. She just passed 3,000 subscribers. Congratulations, girl, I love you. But I know I have a very large audience and a lot of you struggle with PTSD. Like, please go check her channel out. But, you know, I wasn't even going to make this video, but then I saw this clip. I've stopped crying about that. <laughs> I'm sorry for showing you that, but I mean, like, I'm tired of sitting on this sweater. This channel is about honesty and healing, and you know what? Healing isn't pretty. Um, sometimes you have panic attacks where you can't speak or breathe. Sometimes you have minor panic attacks where you can't stop talking and crying. And yeah, like I was just talking about this in my last video about Haley Reese, that like this is why we share our stories. And like, I'm so proud of my fellow creators and mental health creators especially who get on camera on a regular basis and open up because yeah, like showing this struggle that she's been going through and that process like, it's a cliche old saying, like if you've ever been like in a treatment center or like worked with a therapist, you've probably heard the saying, you gotta feel if you wanna heal. But it's it's very true and so many of us are trying to run away from our emotions. But anyways, I can relate to Kalayla and Kalayla's situation's a little bit different than what my situation was. But those of you who don't know, I have a crazy family. My family is out of their minds. And you know what's great? Even though I'm at 40,000 subscribers, my family doesn't watch my YouTube channel. So <laughs> I can say whatever I want. No, I'm kidding. I have a lot of great relationships with different family members, but growing up, I had an alcoholic mom and you know, I had a lot of issues with my sister. I always felt like they loved her more than me and all these other things. And like in Kalayla's situation, it's a little bit tricky um, because she talks about like she has a brother who's kind of caught in the middle of this. So that that is tricky when you have like another sibling involved. But for me personally, for me personally, I've shared about my alcoholic mom and how we healed our relationship, but I also share about our story and like, there were months and even years when I just stopped talking to her. I cut her out of my life. Like I'm the type of person where I grew up and like where my friends were my family, okay? While my mom was an alcoholic, I was going over to my best friend's house for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, all these other things. My dad's amazing, he raised me and stuff, but he worked a lot. But my friends were like my family. And like, it's just like, the reason I say it's kind of like controversial what I say, it's just, at a very young age, like I was like 12, 13 years old when I cut my mom out of my life for a while, right? And it kind of helped me set up boundaries for later on in life. Like if I can cut out my own mother because she's affecting my mental health, like don't get it twisted. Like I can cut you out too, right? But for me, and I just talked about being selfish in my last video too, and it's not always a bad thing to be selfish. My mental health comes first. And <laughs> I'm gonna try to word this so carefully because this is like why I haven't made this video yet. But I, I know like biologically we are connected to our families, but there's a lot of expectations that we have. Like a family is supposed to be like this, we're supposed to be like that, da 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 da. But people are fallible, okay? Just because it's your mother, just because it's your aunt, just because it's your dad or uncle or sibling, it doesn't mean they can't be royally messed up and extremely toxic, okay? And like, once you get that through your head, it'll be easier to set up boundaries, but like, like I said, my friends growing up were my family, okay? And this is probably why, why I'm such a huge advocate of support groups, like our Facebook group and our Discord server, okay? Because we don't get to choose who our family is. I didn't choose my alcoholic mother. I didn't choose my stepdad. I didn't choose my aunts or my uncles. I didn't choose any of these people, but, but, I can surround myself with as many positive, supporting, loving people as possible. Like some of my best friends are like my brothers. Some of my best friends are like my sisters, okay? But for me personally, for me personally, once I got it out of my head that like, a mother has to be this, a father has to be this, a family member has to be this, and I have to talk to them because they're family, like, 
when I got that out of my head, things got started to get better for me. So for example, um, I mentioned that I sent an email out this morning from my emailing list and I was, uh, you know, it, it had an empowering message in there. The difference between can't and won't. Like I made a video a while back about Logan Paul and Jake Paul, like listen, like, I hear people say, oh, I can't cut this person out of my life. They're my family member, I can't. I'm like, no, 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 no. You can, you just won't. You don't want to because you think you're gonna hurt their feelings or you get self-conscious, you're worried they're gonna be mad at you. Like, let's just be real about the situation. You can cut these toxic people out of your life. You're just afraid to. And there's nothing wrong with being afraid to. Dealing with this stuff is difficult, okay? But I just want you to know that you can do it, all right? So what I recommend is if you have toxic family members, and remember, this is what worked for me, find a support group. Turn this support group into the people you need to be there for you, to love you, and do things like that, all right? So even though KS and I, uh, KSI and Deji are probably faking this entire thing, at least there are some lessons that we can learn from this about cutting out family members who continue to hurt you, all right? But let me know down in the comments below. Let me know down in the comments below if you've had to cut out certain friends or family members from your life to prioritize your mental health, okay? But anyways, again, please go check out This Offends Me TV, uh, Todd, he's amazing. Go check out Kalayla's channel, especially if you have PTSD. She makes amazing videos over there. So go check them out, all right? But if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up if you're new. Make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all awesome. And if you wanna get a free copy of my book, follow me on Twitter or you can sign up on Patreon because at some of the tiers, you get free copies of my book. Pretty sweet. All right, thanks again. I'll see you next time.